This is everything I expected and more when I was going to build an enormous sanguifage castle. I think I've really nailed it this time. Three episodes. Three episodes and all I've done is dig a square out of a cave here in Rimmel Blood Empire. Of course, look, it was a very slow start when we started. And didn't have any limbs. Mona had to do all the heavy lifting by herself. I, I mean, but at this point, look, we've got Anne, we've got Mona as our sanguifages. We have five loyal recruits, all that have various pretty good skills, and then we're making good friends with the empire too now one thing i asked in the comment section yesterday is for ideas for decorating the other sanguifage base types because i want each one to be different i want each sanguifage type to have a base of their own so Anne's base is going to be that kind of traditional medieval castle nice big lush carpets and and golden displays and art and all of that type of thing but as for the others i didn't really know where to go with it so somebody said for uh, i think it was the strigoi for them to have a more kind of morbid base with skull spikes and slab beds and things like that that's a great idea obviously we've got the egyptian theme for the I think somebody said to use them for the Ekmanians. Is that what they're called? I'm not going to remember until we actually get some. Mona, of course, can have a garden somewhere. A nice, lush garden. Someone in the comments actually said, base it on the garden from Darkest Dungeon. I thought that was a really, really good idea because it works perfectly for this. But this is, of course, all well and good, except there's a big, major problem with that. We haven't got any Sanguifage. We've only got Anne and Mona. And of course, Sanguifages in the base game are pretty hard to come by. They're pretty much quest only xenotypes right well i've decided behind the scenes behind the curtain in my infinite wisdom to do what i normally do i have changed the feral sanguifages into scattered sanguifages all of the other sanguifage types can spawn in rarely in this faction so the strigoi and the bruxa and the ikmanians and the the so, some other ones as well from alpha genes and the undead mod all of those different sanguifage and vampire types can spawn there. That way, we actually do stand a chance of building up a sanguifage base. Otherwise, it's going to be Anne and her big empty castle. I did also ask if anybody had any suggestions for people to turn into sanguifages. Pretty much everybody said Basroto and Andrade deserve to be it. Especially because Andrade is going to be the one etching the castle, most likely. And then, of course, Basroto is the one digging out the castle in the first place. So both of them are very valued. They're already, they've already contributed so much to vampire society uh combat music hello <laughs> why is it a uh, man man hunting animal hello <gasps> oh enraged cocoon disturbed ah right yes i did just bin all of those toxic waste packs in the river didn't i oh oh shit okay here they come here they come where's Anne? Anne? oh she's miles away okay this is fine though Mona can probably deal with this by herself. Wait for that other mega spider to come through, and then we'll come out and body block with these two. This is good. This is good. Right, bash. Kill. Uh, Aloe, what have you got? Nothing. Nothing. I remember because I had to arrest you for crimes against vampire society. This is fine. This is a minor setback. Eventually, and this was a really cool idea or so in the comments as well, somebody said that you should have the specific clans do certain things, which was kind of the plan already with Mona, because I said that she can be in charge of, you know, like feeding the colony. But having certain vampire clans be, you know, depending on their xenotype, of course, better at melee combat. So them being the town guards makes a lot more sense. Bazroto, if you die, I will cry because you're basically the best person here. What are you doing? You're a cripper and a revolver. <laughs> okay. I think that's it, though, for insects. So we should be fine. We should be fine. Please don't lose any limbs. Okay, he hasn't lost anything. He just needs a lot of... Uh, just needs a lot of tending. Mona. Mona saved this colony. She actually hasn't taken much damage at all. God, she is a stone cold killer. And by the time you get here, it's going to be over. <laughs> oh, she can jump. She can jump. There you go. Oh, brilliant. Well done. Great. Great. Perfect timing. Look, it's been a long few years between the Anne that we know now and the Anne that we used to know. The one that used to instantly kill all of those monsters. Uh, things have changed a lot. It's not Basroto. I, I genuinely, because this guy's so useful, I genuinely could use the glitter tech medicine on him. Oh, or it's gone. Or it's or it's gone, though. What the hell do you mean it's gone? I specifically put everybody... Oh, for God's sake. I had that forbidden. Oh, I hate you all. Look. Oh, maybe maybe where we got a new recruit, it defaulted to. Ah, okay. Well, that's fine. Look, we'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. What about coagulate? Upsy-daisy vampire healy power. 
<laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be close. I mean, look, if he if he wakes up, if the blood loss goes down below extreme and he gets, uh, he has to be awake for it. We can preach health. Something I never normally do, but we might not have a choice here. Have we got any heal root? Because if this man dies, you're setting us back years. Do you know how long it's going to... Yes, this heal root. Do you know how long it's going to take to harvest this much stuff? Otherwise, Mona, get down here. So conditioning tending. Oh, suck it up. Suck it up. Come grab this. No! That's for Basroto. How could you? Yeah. My boy. <laughs> My precious special boy. Yep. Yeah, fuck the Empire. You get nothing. You get nothing like it. Haul that back. Get it prepared for Basroto. My guy's going to need it. I don't think he's going to wake back up before the... Oh, my God. He's also got food poisoning. He, well, he's definitely not going to wake up now. What the hell are you people doing? What? I think through some actual miracle. Look, 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 look. The immunity is beating the infection. Oh, my God. I don't even know how that's possible. But she's actually done it. Mona, you legend. Needs tending very, very soon. Okay, get ready. Where's that? Where's the medicine gone? Where did you put that? Give me that. No, 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 give me that. Well, well, take me to the medicine then. Pick up the medicine preemptively. Bring it down. You get here. Clean this room right now. Okay. Here you go, Bazroto. I will never let you die, my friend. Tend to buy it. No, 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 no. And piss off. And piss off. This is a Mona moment. She, she's like our best. Yeah, she's she's got lots of medical experience where she's stitched and back together. Piece by piece. Very literally. Here you go. And come on. I want to see like our... I'm going to see an 80% here, Mona. We both know it. 45%. You know what? It's good enough. It's it's better than the previous 10 quality. And that was enough to keep him in the green. He is going to live another day. Please. I hope he does. Because we're not going to find another miner this good for a long time. Maybe ever. I think he's actually safe. Oh! <laughs> you son of a bitch. <sighs> oh my god, that was the best comedic timing this game has ever done in my entire history of playing. <sighs> oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, um, it's just the flu. It's just the flu. We haven't got to worry about it. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, okay, this is fine. This is okay. Um... Shit. Okay. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, let's put the uh, put the campfire. Move the campfire. Shit. We're gonna have to hustle. We're gonna have to hustle. Sorry, I didn't even check who got the flu here. Hold on. It's one of the guests. It was one of the guests. It was Andrade. Oh my god, the other important person. And then Basroto. He is not having a good day. I'm sorry, fella. This is the curse of Rimworld. I say, oh, I'm gonna have I'm gonna have these two people be the vampires in the colony because they're the most useful. Boom. The flu. <laughs> Luckily, the flu is one of the most survivable. Oh, not if you do that and you fucking fool. Okay, okay, I'm taking everybody off of doctoring. I'm taking everybody off of doctoring besides Dr. Mona. 16% 10 quality. Nah, don't do this to me. His immunity is... Staying roughly at parity. I think it is catching up. Oh, God, you scared the life out of me then. Oh, shit, this is going to be close. He is recovering from the food poisoning, which give him a higher blood filtration, which in theory should help save his life once the extreme infection's gone. That's also going to help out, of course. Boom. Mona's gone catatonic. Mona! She was tired. I pushed her too far. What choice did I have? It was for Basroto, Mona. Oh, for God's sake. Okay. Dr. Ann, welcome back. <laughs> okay, no, Aloe's pretty good. We've got a lot of good medical characters, so it's really not the end of the world. You're you're very good. Aloe, Aloe really could be a, a very valuable doctor, which is why I've got a sleeping on a pile of bricks. You are killing me. Worst case scenario, right? This is the real emergency red button. We could crack open the crypto sleep caskets and try and find some luciferium. That will at least keep him alive for, you know, like months. It will keep him alive for months because you generally get like six or seven luciferium. Each one you have to take every five days. That will keep him alive long enough to finish off the castle. Then we can like immortalize him in a mausoleum. We do have a lot of uh, a lot of mods that are very on brand with that type of thing. We can build him an enormous mausoleum in the castle somewhere to, uh, to memorialize him. <sighs> I can't believe you've done this. Okay, bone quality 10 to 15%. That's good. Hey, uh, could, I'm going to have to crank up the cleaning bill, I think, as well. Otherwise, we're never... We're just not going to survive this. Can I drop anything else down? Well, there isn't much else to do right now. Hunting, I can't really turn that off. Otherwise, we'll all starve to death. Because we are... Oh, we're getting kind of low on the food front, I will admit. No, 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 Basroto, lie down. Oh, God. Okay, we need, to, we need someone else to build this extra medical bed. Maybe a hospital would be good. 
you know, I keep talking about the, the virtues of... You know, build your own hospital bed. I keep talking about the virtues of, you know, charity and helping people, proving how much better we are than everyone else. And then I keep doing nothing about it. It really is truly, truly incredible. Okay. I'm happy with that. Do you think we're going to need to use Preach Health? She needs tending, like, right now. But she is ahead in immunity, which is nice. You're fine. It's only Basroto again. <laughs> okay, Allo. Allo, Allo, what are you doing? Stop cutting bricks. Get down here and save their lives. I need to see something massive. Oh, clean the room first. 39%. That's enough to beat flu, so that's not a problem. Come on. 40%. Very good. Save his life. Don't make me use Proach Health. 24%. That might be enough. That might just be enough. Let's see. No, it's not. It's close, but it's not. If I'm going to use Proach Health, I need to use it now. Shit, it's very, very close, isn't it? Hey, come here. I can't use Proach Health. Mona is unconscious. You are breaking my heart, Annie. Um, what we could do... Okay, okay, okay. I've got an idea. Hang on one second. So let's go make the install of the primary ideology again. Let's begin a role change. Who do we want to make the moral guide of the enthralled? Who's going to be like the head butler? Because if, if Baz Roto and Andrade are going to be our vampire choice, I, I think Aloe... I think maybe, maybe Aloe, given that she is a very good doctor... Let's do it. I'm going to save these people's lives. I'm never going to let this stop. So this is for all of the servants only. Boom. Successful role change. By the way, if you like that very fancy button that we now have on the UI, everybody please give a round of applause to Fel, though, who has slapped that together, where we can swap between ideologies for if you're playing a multiple ideology colony. It's absolutely fantastic, and exactly w without which playing a multi-ideology colony would be impossible, because the second you get more more members of one ideology it becomes the primary ideology by default so this is fantastic I'll, I'll try and get it uploaded to the workshop ready tonight so that you lot can play along and have it in your own playthroughs now that we've done that uh preach health how long are we looking Allo will not do social work oh really just truly you are incredible a true master of rim rim through and through <laughs> let's make that our primary ideology again <laughs> but if Baz Roto dies I'm gonna I'm ending the series. No more Rim Rim. I'm so attached to him. He's the perfect boy. Look lie down. You don't have to attend this. You don't have to attend this, Baz Roto. Oh, he's so brave. Okay, friendship ended with Aloe Slipper is my new best friend, Preach Health. Yes, that's what we like to see. Just to double check, everybody else is fine. They don't desperately need it. That would be a bit of a diplomatic incident if Zebo died of the flu, but is otherwise fine. It's just Baz Roto. Get down here, save his damn life. Save his damn life. Where are you? Slippery, run, stop. Preach health. Baz Roto. He is going to be a blessed boy. Look at that. Immunity gain speed up by 25%. There, were, there was nothing in it. Kaz, get out of that bed. That's for Baz Roto now. Rest until healed. And live, damn you. Yes! He's alive. Oh, shit. He needs tending. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Okay, tend to Baz Roto. Go, go, go. Oh, my God. <gasps> I told you this is the best boy I've ever seen. He inclined. That's good. Don't get me wrong. Super immune. Immunity gains be 30% or iron stomach. He was, he was suffering from food poisoning and an infection simultaneously. I've got to go super immune. My man has fought and come out on the other side. We don't have to worry about it anymore. 30% immunity gain speed means that he'll just basically tend himself at this point. I, he's a legendary. He's a legendary man. And everyone else? Comfortable. Comfortable, fine, and alive. Uh, that was a phenomenal character arc. That was one of my favorite character arcs I've ever seen. And now you're feeding him blood. You know what? God damn it. Today he becomes a sanguifage. He's earned it. He's absolutely earned it. This man has proven that not only does he have massive talent, 15 mining, 7 tunneling. He's built this base single-handedly, more or less. He's also proven that he is the strongest. Nothing can stop Baz Roto and would be proud to add someone like that to her ranks. Oh, what just happened? Theopos emerged from a pod. Hello. Pod has opened and Theopos has emerged. My friend, little baby Theopos. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Theopos became a child. Oh, well, that's good. They don't start as, as tiny babby. Of course, remain colonist. Oh, that's so nice. Look, grandmother is Anne. 
Oh, that's lovely. I like that a lot. Oh, mm, so tasty. I was starving, says Theopos, emerging from a... Oh, God. Pod filled with human flesh. Um, empty pianling pod. Dried out pea-like plant once used as an incubation pod. Some human flesh can be retrieved from the sack at the bottom. Mmm, my favorite. Oh my god, and Mona's back up too. Mona, your child. Your child. Oh my god, she's best friends with Anne. That's nice. Exceptional death rush chamber. That's also quite fun. I didn't realize that. Do you care about your child? Your, your baby is here. Human meat and peas. <laughs> That's very good. I like that a lot. Oh, and you're just a, you're just a paneling. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's cool. Ageless, deathless. So they've got some of the vampiric traits, of course. Pea head. Carries of this gene have a pea-shaped green heads in their early life stages. Very good. So they do get two random things as well. They get random bark and random plants. This kid has acacia bark and older horns plant. Whoa, beauty plus one. God, as if we were ready to add another colonist to the mix. Um... What am I going to do? This is too many people. And in another big piece of good news, we're finally done with the flu problems. Wow, what a great day. That was almost total chaos there for a second. We've got a new colonist. Everybody is nice and healthy. I suppose I shouldn't really look at the pee people like, like they would treat regular human babies. Oh, hey, look at that. I was ignoring the colonists can gain expertise because it's one of the guests, right? I suppose I'll just give you an expertise. I'm sure the Empire won't care. There you go. Sharpshooting. Fine. Uh, Anne's got an expertise. In melee? Oh. That is kind of cool, given that her entire character in her original series was just killing things instantly. I quite like that a lot. Um, maybe piercing, just to go for, like, a big armor penetration bonus. Should take down anything? That seems a bit more on brand. Let's go with it. Good news, we finally have a more organized stockpile. The bad news is it's absolutely filled with slate bricks. Not that I'm really complaining, I suppose. We've got a lot of work to do here. 4,000 slate blocks. What the hell am I going to build with it? Because I'm, I mean, they want the floors to be majority carpet, and they're supposed to be a luxury base, and the walls were smoothing off to etch afterwards. Um, like, furniture? I'm already building the furniture. Why have I had them stone cutting so much? What's wrong with you? I like the idea of turning this area into Mona's area, because she's going to need a big outdoor zone, given that she's supposed to be the, 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 the garden manager of the colony, right? And this area I've kind of condemned. We'll probably have to get rid of the Exostrider skeleton. Hey, the same one that we turn into the futuristic high-tech Egyptian vampire society, we could also give the Exostrider mech link to, I suppose? I'm not really sure. That sounds kind of fun, though. That's, that's such a weird aesthetic. I'm all for it. Let's clear this out, then. Let's, let's start preparing to turn this into a base for Mona. The reason I say this, I'm pretty sure I saw it. Yeah, look at that right there. A granum pod. So we could install that one. The, the animatrix here as well. So we could replant that one down there. I cannot believe that through some miracle, we managed to keep that quest going all this time. Holy crap. Goodbye. Remember, this was like massive, too. The rewards for this were great. A masterwork throne, which I suppose we'll give to Anne, but it's a projector throne. So giving it to the, the kind of tech faction would be cooler. And a net gun so that we can try and grab some of those sanguifages a bit safer. Maybe for the time being, though. Maybe for the time being, we give, we give it to Anne. It goes in the middle of the room, right? Oh, get rid of this. Get rid of this. I've got to see it. This mod looks so cool. It was a fantastic suggestion from someone in Discord. EGI holograms and projectors. It's 150 watts and produces a projection of 2,620 beauty. My god. We've also got the improved mod that allows us to spend the same amount of resources again to try and improve it. Obviously, I'll disable that for the time being. We have, we have no compacted machinery maybe maybe try going for machinery instead then genius oh would you look at that <laughs> you have none of this thing that i spelt wrong on the map whatever will we do bazaroto you know you know you know what we need my friend oh and kaz hit level 15 intellectual these people have cemented themselves as fantastic colonists i wasn't sure about any of them but they're all just so bloody good why can we not pick a passion for you uh what oh Oh, well, there we go. Okay, obviously, we'll go passion in researching. That seems fantastic. 5% extra research be per level. Ooh, a gift. Scattered sanguophages. A group of returned from scattered sanguophages have scattered all over the area. They took that very literally. That's not, <laughs> that's not what I meant. Okay, everybody draft up. Luckily, I made sure everybody had a weapon, except for Slippery, who can't fight. An aloe who apparently has a, a block of wood. Show me, show me. There are some very, very rare sanguifages, so if we find those, we've got to make sure that we fist fight them instead of shooting them dead. What are you? 
A Dracul. What is that? Ooh. Perfect immunity regeneration. Unliving resilience. Infect. Exceptional darkness healing. Whoa. Another one. There's another one. Hello. How you doing? You are the same thing again? Dracul. The Dracul and Draculina are often considered classical vampires. They are said to struggle to learn new things. Absolutely fine. You'll fit right in on this channel. And we have another one. Dracul Neonate, so a younger one, I presume. Okay, okay, we'll have a proper look through their Xenotype in a second. Slippery, get out of here. You're incapable of violent. Run away. Let's just be careful about this, because they have some horrible... Ah! Uh! Why are you using firebombs? That's rude. Mona! Mona! <laughs> For fuck's sake! <gasps> she skewered him through the head. Well, that's one down. We'll try again. At least it's through the same. Ah, uh, at least it's through the same Xenotype after all. Okay, this fire's this fire's already getting a little bit out of control. Mona, Mona, please, please, just knock that one down. Please, Mona, we need more vampires for God's sake. I mean, what sort of vampire empire is this? No, no. <laughs> you dick. <laughs> God, God, I can't. can't be trusted. I'm taking that sword off of her. I'm taking that sword off of her. Look, look, the good news is we know that they are out there. We know that they exist. We know that they work. Whoa. So what is this then? Uh, in fact, force vampirism to progress in the victim. Oh, blood feeder, Dracul. Carries of this gene have dangerous looking fangs will infect victims with vampirism when they directly feed on them. They are also capable of feeding on other vampires. Cool. And you've got regeneration, which is very, very powerful. Sanguifida, so they feed on other sanguifages. Exceptional darkness healing, super clotting. So these are just more of your generic spooky vampires hiding in a castle somewhere. I like this a lot. Intense UV sensitivity and tinder skin and pyrophobia. Fair enough. Very unhappy. Oh, that's kind of cool. So they're very dour. They're very sad, but they also have a massive hunger rate because they are very complex. Whoa. Oh, cool. Okay, I hope we can capture one of these next time, because they've got some really weird mechanics, especially compared to the uh, the regular sanguifage. Ooh! Oh my god, another baby. Another baby panling. Hello, baby McCloud. How are you? Am I gonna have to build a <laughs> vampire school? <laughs> How on earth are we gonna get enough hemogen for all these people? I do have them set to uh, a lot of them to also feed any blood feeders. Which they're happy with, as long as they've got that trait, remember. Some of them we still have to convert over to give the to give the trait to. Let's enthrall Allo, given the Bas, Roto, and Andrade. I'm probably just going to convert over to vampires eventually. So you can get flipped over. Satisfying enthrall, fine. It's a lot of steel, but let's just connect. I've, I've got to see this in action, right? Let's connect the chair up to... I don't think we've got quite enough steel. Connect it up to the grid. Eventually, we're going to give a power grid to the whole base anyway, right? Let's get rid of this room now, because we'll build an actual plant nursery, uh, pun intended. Hey, and there it is. That's what I was weighing on. Andrade has hit level 15 construction. Is that one just for smoothing? I, I presume that would be construction speed then, huh? We've got building given 5%. Architecture gives construction success quality, construction quality bonus. Repairing and then flooring, obviously. Uh, God, it's a shame there isn't one for smoothing, huh? I guess it's got to be building then. Just to add on to that construction speed. That's that's fine. I need slightly more steel. Now, this room I'm, I'm going to get rid of because we're going to build another base on this side of the river anyway, right? For one of the other vampire clans. I think... Oh, no, I don't need to flick any switches. I think we will... I think we'll get rid of this. I think we'll crack open a cold one with the boys and see what pops out. We've got a door on it, so I could flip it into a prison pretty quickly if things go awry. Let's put Mona there. The, the worst case scenario is we open this up and it's like three cataphracts that pop out and prove to be quite difficult to fight. Please be careful. If it's neutrals, that's okay. Oh, oh God. And it was people in marine armor. Brilliant. Okay, well, luckily Mona's dealing with that one. Let's get you to there. Clot that one over the head. No, don't kill him. Pocket sand. Don't kill him. Don't kill him. Okay, that's fine. That's good. But they've not one down. Holy shit, and come back here. Come back here and bash him. We've got we've got some power armor. Oh. We've got components. We've got plastil. What about you? Advanced components times three. You've just made my day, my friend. Oh, and we did finish well, we must have finished microelectronics. We didn't get a pop-up because one of the research ones we've got. Um that's fine. I'll, I'll fix that for next time. Can we go? 
Fuck immediately to advanced. I mean, obviously, we need a, a multi analyzer. Advanced fabrication would be kind of nuts, eh? Xenogenetics? I, I would love one of the creepy vampire factions to have. To be like the, the, the genetics masters. That'd be fun. It's a little bit early for that, I will admit. Um, Piano? Get a nicer throw room. Do you have any good skills I could use? 13 melee. We could do something with that. Mining six, double passion, crafting five, double passion, drunken master. That's fun. Nimble chemical fascination. You're probably worth grabbing. Not sure about you, though. Animals and social. We do not need, we don't need any more social. For God's sake. Uh, strip them and kill them. Your dinner now. And the person dead on the floor had pemmican gold and some more components. Man, that worked out well. Let's swap these walls out for... Uh, maybe I'll just dig the whole thing up. Sure. Maybe I'll just dig the whole... Thank you for that. No, nobody is against us imprisoning that person. That's nice. What if we keep one? What if, what if we just keep one in case of very massive emergencies? I think that's not a terrible idea. We can't reinstall it, so we'll just we'll, do, we'll just hold it there for now. There we go. I moved the aesthetic mark into the throne room for the time being, because we don't really need a throne room. To be fair, we don't need half of this base. Why are you starving? Mona, feed your child. For God's sake. What do they eat? What do, they, what do these children eat again? We have meals? No, we've got bloody loads of meals. Someone feed this child. Has put on the power armor. No, 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 no. There's only one person who's a stone cold killer in this base, Kaz. I don't know what it is about that. I think it just suits us so much more. It matches the, the leaf in her hair as well. Oh. Oh, look at the projection throne. For as long as it lasted, we just ran out of power. Oh, that looks so cool. And there's a grand projection throne as well, even larger than this one. We can change the color entirely. I'm, I'm happy with the color that we've got. We can change the projection between... 16 different options. Look at that. And some of them are quite appropriate for the plans as well. There's like a, an Egyptian theme one there. Got a horrible Eldritch one, a demonic one. Wow. I think we'll stick with the uh I think we'll stick with the Grim Reaper though. That seems pretty good. Well, maybe not. I mean, Anne's not necessarily that kind of generic evil vampire anymore. We're supposed to be benevolent. Um we'll just go for oh, what about that one? I mean, I know there's a giant skull on it, okay? And you know what? I think it's finally time. I think it is finally time that we embrace another Sangophage in this colony. Basroto, the man, the myth, the legend, who has mined out an entire base basically by himself. You, my friend, deserve to become Sangophage. Welcome. Ooh, what is this? Slippery and Aloe, okay, okay. It's none of the main star-studded cast, but you know what? It saves me a bedroom, and that's the important part. Research finished piano, thank you. I mean, I would take anything more useful. Oh my god. What the hell is even that? <laughs> Pipe organs, oh, that's cool. Oh, we've got utility columns, auto door. What do I, what do I need right now? What do I want? To be honest, hydroponics, because we are in permanent winter here, and it sucks trying to get anything done. We never have any food. We're constantly out there hunting. Those hydroponics, batteries, anything along those lines. Uh, sure. Oh, to be fair, the utility columns could be useful. Unlocks a sun column, which could help out with that. Yeah, okay, let's go with that. Oh, now I'm going to add an entrance room to the front of the castle here. What I'm thinking is, because uh, people are saying we need a ballroom and we need an art gallery on top of everything else we've got, right? Because of course we do. So I guess we'll throw down. Hmm, how big do I want to make this, though? Again, this is my first time playing Empire, so this could be... This could be messy. I guess we could do something like that. And then build a corridor out there. How big... How thick were my corridors? Five blocks across. What the hell do you mean marriage is on? <laughs> Good God! <laughs> you two, that took five minutes. Oh, good. Easy come, easy go, I guess. Look, I'm just glad I got the armor. Biggest issue still remains food. So I put a little expansion up here to grow a little more Nutrifungus around the steam geezer. But the problem is people are upset that we're eating cooked mushrooms. We're better than that. We should be having lavish meals and grand feasts. But right now... <laughs> it's the best we've got because we've overextended in just about every bloody direction. We're gonna go back to basics a little bit more. We're gonna we're gonna flush these out so they are at least decent bedrooms. We'll operate out of one base for the time being. We'll get a proper research room set up. I, I will dedicate this area to another one preemptively. I'm not sure who I'll go for on this side. Maybe we go for the high-tech faction next, and we can just designate that to being Whatever sanguifages turn up next. Uh, without overthinking it too much, then we'll, we'll give it a specific theming and style 
when they're actually here, but we do need like a dedicated craft room, a dedicated research room that isn't just in the middle of the stockpile. Ooh, this looks good. This is nice. It's a shame the throne isn't powered right now, but we'll solve that. Okay, it's, it's, all, it's early days still. Come on. Ooh. <laughs> yes. Wait, that would have converted him. Well, I didn't convert him. Bruh. <laughs> what do you mean? He's not supposed to be enthralled. Ah, there we go. Quick reload, and he is as good as new. Oh, well, that saved me a load off my mind. Amazing. Tomorrow, Vampiric Society. I, I, I Look, it's slow going. I know. I know. I understand that. What was Anne's original castle like, huh? That's not a good metric to judge by, given that Anne used to be horribly overpowered. Like, so overpowered it would make the game break. I mean, look, everybody besides Mona and Anne, who expect much higher things in life, are, are pretty happy. Everybody's doing fine. How are the children doing? Growth tier three, that's good. Growth tier zero, that's not as good. But to be fair, you 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 hatched? I didn't really know how you you, you flowered? I don't know the word for it. Yeah, it's a younger, but it's younger, younger P P person. It's a younger panling. Now that the castle is dug out and we can slowly begin upgrading it over the course of the entire playthrough, because that's the point, right? We can Begin work on more important stuff. I'm going to put together a little list. And the top of that list is probably going to be hydroponics. We're going to have a dedicated prison. We're going to have a dedicated hospital. It's going to be a lot of building. But I think that 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 mountain on the other side of the river will be tech central. And I'm quite excited to, to throw that out there. And we'll put that in charge of whatever single phase faction suits it the best. But it's got to be hydroponics. <laughs> These poor people are starving to death. They want luxury meals, damn it. Thank you all for joining me. Again, it's going to be a very slow burn this series. This might be a 40 parter, no doubt. But it's going to be amazing. I, I have very high hopes for the bases when we get up to that stage. Thank you. Thank you, as always, to uh, the executive producer patrons, without which we wouldn't be here in the first place. Thank you to Shatner's Bassoon, Bobson Dugnut, Drusus, Tarsus, Magnus, Optimus, Maximus, Chuckles, Triquatral, Grand K, Luskanai, Black Magic, Geeg, Could Be Sleep, Nikolai Nielsen, Josh Lund, 91 Gearhead, Accidental King, Matt Lewin, Dust, Code Kai, Wookie, Overlord, Lou Waffle, I Doge, Simothy, Jimothy, Tragen, 2.0, and Lycan Lover. Thank you for being here. Thank you for joining me. What a bizarre time we find ourselves in. The castle is actually dug out. <laughs> Thank God it's over. Thank you as well to Kai, Health and Safety Inspector, Vladislav Shatulski, Avalka, Gray's Monkey, 231, Benedict Suka Kukapunga Batch, Shadow Step 02, Gaming Stuff, Dan Does a Thing, Throw Mash, Random Man 9989, Qs, Aaron McBride, Snake Farts, Mithrin, Mikey Rock, Alcatraz, Joe, Herman, Horgholt, and. Lamaness. Good lord, it's warm in this room. Goodbye. I'm done.